What is up everybody, it's the Don with the Don Tech, and today I wanted to bring you the Don Tech news. On today, August 21st, Intel just released or launched these i7 and i5 8th generation processors. The desktop variant, also codenamed Coffee Lake, is going to be announced at a later date. What they announced today was the U series right here. That's going to be for thin and light laptops, two-in-ones, convertibles, minis. As always, Intel is promising better performance, battery, battery life, and more things you can do with less power. These are supposed to have from 15 watts of TDP, and they're going to be meant for powering the two-in-ones and ultra-thins. Their other lineup is coming soon in the fall. And here's going to be the list of the different processors that are coming out with this mobile lineup. You have the i7s in an 8650 or an 8550, and the i5s in an 8350 and an 8250. These will have a variable range all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz, all the way down to 3.4 gigahertz in the maximum processor that's probably going to be unlocked with a turbo boost technology or something like that. And the base clock frequency is going to be from a 1.9 at the max all the way to a 1.6 gigahertz. All of these processors are going to have four cores and eight threads, and the i7 series will have eight megabytes of cache, whereas the i5s will have six megabytes of cache. All of these will allow dual channel of memory with a maximum of 32 gigs of RAM on either of the platforms. The primary difference in these cores for this particular model is going to be that instead of a dual core, they're going to be a quad core. Intel always promises that they're going to give you better performance. This one they're saying is going to be 40% from the seventh generation. Intel further claims that you're going to get up to two times the performance versus a i5 machine from five years ago. Five years is probably right around that fourth and fifth generation of processors on the Intel side. Continuing on with multitasking, Intel promises up to 2.3 times faster multitasking versus a five-year-old system, or up to 40% faster multitasking versus the seventh generation. Here they have some other information that's usually based on a synthetic workload. They say that you can create a 4K video 14.7 times faster on this new eighth gen versus a five-year-old system, three minutes versus 45 minutes. They say that you are also able to edit in Adobe Lightroom up to 2.3 times or 28% faster versus the seventh generation or versus the five-year-old system. And they also say that you're going to be able to create a slideshow up to 48% faster versus the seventh generation. Links to the two websites I used in this video will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was semi-helpful to you. If you enjoyed the series, definitely let me know. If you have any advice or anything else you'd like to see in the future, leave them in a comment down below. Be sure to follow me on The Don Tech to stay up to date with any other tech news. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, The Don's got your back.